Hi, it's Paul Thomas at PitCon 2011, talking today with Craig Dobbs of Waters. Craig, thanks for being with us again. Paul, great to see you also. Craig, about a year or so ago, uh, we talked about the new patrol process analyzer, and now you have uh, a new member of the family, so to speak. We do, yes. This year we're introducing the patrol UPLC laboratory analyzer, uh, which is an extension of the patrol family. We were asked by a number of customers uh, that did not require the stainless steel enclosure, but still wanted to perform online or at line automated LC analysis. Uh, so the patrol UPLC laboratory analyzer was developed and that's what we're introducing now. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell us uh, how, how it works? Yes. Give us a little demo? Or? Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's designed really for the process development, process optimization, scale-up laboratories where they need to do online sampling uh, with real-time LC to get results back quickly, but again, don't need the full rated enclosure. Um, the online system is fully automated. It just uh, plums into your reactor, whether it's a batch reactor or a continuous flow reactor, extracts samples, perform the analysis, and then generates the results uh, for you. There's also the at line functionality in which uh, we utilize barcoded uh, vials to perform the uh, the analysis. And if you'd like, it's very easy and straightforward. Let me give you a vial and, and you can sure. do, do an analysis. What do uh, I do? All you do is come up to this touch screen and uh, touch the the big green button to load your sample and then come over to the instrument and slide the port back, insert your sample right into that port and then lower that and what the system will do now is check to ensure that that vial has a cap and a septa on it. It will then read the barcode to ensure that it's the right sample being introduced to the right instrument at the right time. It will then add that sample to a queue, and from that barcode, it will be able to load the appropriate method, choose the appropriate column, choose the appropriate analysis method, in which to send those results to uh, directly to a user by email. Mm -hmm. And do we have those results yet, or are they uh, coming yeah, to come right in? Will take about three and a half minutes to uh, to generate. Okay, good. Um, so, what in, in the overall picture, what does this mean for Waters and what does it mean for your customers? Certainly, it's again an extension of this uh, LC family and what it really means to our customers is they do so much work with LC and LCMS in discovery and research and in development that oftentimes when they get to process development, optimization, scale up and even manufacturing, they switch to a different technology, oftentimes a vibrational uh, spectroscopic technique that's very difficult to understand understand how that data generated during that phase relates back to the LC and LCMS data. Mm -hmm. And then after manufacturing, they switch right back to LC and LCMS again doing QC work, release testing, or long-term stability monitoring testing. And what this family of products really enable these customers to do now is to utilize LC and LCMS throughout their entire process. So in the world of quality by design, this gives them a QBD design space that they can relate data to from early research and discovery all the way through to QC release and long-term testing. Great, Craig, thanks so much for talking with us again today. Thank you.